good. I trust you all had a great weekend. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day, for a beginning of another working week. And whatever lays, lies before us, even with another lockdown, whatever, Father, we just pray that we will be conscious of your presence with us throughout this week. Thank you that we can say with the Apostle Paul, whatever comes our way, your grace is sufficient for me. And so, Father, just bless our few thoughts this morning, I pray. And may your word be an encouragement and a joy to us. For Jesus' sake, we ask it. Amen. One of the choruses, Christian choruses, in the top ten in the late 70s was that chorus, Joy, joy, my heart is full of joy. My saviour dear is ever near. That's the reason why my heart is full of joy. And as Christians, very often when we think of joy, we think of our joy. The joy of knowing the Saviour, the joy of serving the Saviour, the joy of walking life with the Saviour at our side and so on. The Christian's joy. However, this morning, I want us to consider something of the joy that belongs to Christ himself. Because the Bible tells us that both as God and as man, Jesus Christ was a joyous or a joyful individual. Let me share with you this morning a few truths about joy that's related to Jesus Christ. Can I suggest to you, first of all, that there is joy in the heart of Jesus in finding the lost sheep. If you remember the story of the, or the parable rather, of the lost sheep, we read these words in Luke's Gospel, chapter 15 and verse 5. And when he has found it, he laid it on his shoulder, rejoicing. That is, when he found the lost sheep, the saviour, the great shepherd, the good shepherd, lays it on his shoulder and he rejoices. And in the parable, he says, there is great joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. And on that day when you and I came to faith in Christ, as the lost sheep returned home, there was joy in the heart of the Saviour. And that tells us something very important this morning as Christians. The importance of witnessing, the importance of seeking the lost for Christ. Because if there's joy in his heart when the lost sheep come home, surely there is joy in his heart when we, as the found, Go in search of the lost. When we share the gospel, when we proclaim the good news that there is salvation in Jesus Christ, that must bring joy to the heart of the Saviour also. And then we find joy in God's heart when as he abides in believers. There is joy in the heart of Jesus as he lives in us. Listen to John 15 and verse 11. These things I have spoken to you that my joy might remain in you and your joy might be full. When Christ comes and lives and when he remains and abides in our hearts, not only is he joyful, but he deposits within us something of his joy. And that's why we can sing with our old chorus of the late seventies, joy, joy, my heart is full of joy. My saviour dear is ever near. He abides in me. That's why my heart is full of joy. And then we find that uh, there is joy 
bestowed through the words of Jesus. His very word brings us joy. Let me quote to you uh, from John 17, that uh, priestly prayer of his. And if I quote it from the uh, old authorized, it reads like this. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Something of the joy of Christ is transmitted to us as we read the precious words of Christ. How sweet is your word to my taste. And then we read something of the joy of Christ sustained him at the cross. Hebrews 12, 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and so on. Yes, joy enabled Christ in that sense to go all the way to Calvary, to die for you and for me. And in these difficult days, may that same joy be our strength. It was Matheson who said, O joy that seekest me through pain, I cannot close my heart to thee. May the joy of the Saviour fill our hearts. God bless you.